Hey guys, Justin here in the Mars Veg Tent. I've got everything cleared out because we've got another unboxing video coming to you this time from Raymatics. I have not uh, not really dealt with this company before. Uh, hadn't really seen a whole lot about their lights or anything, but apparently they've been going since about 2017, and they're just now getting to uh, into some serious commercial lighting. Uh, the uh, the owner of the company actually saw my uh, Instagram post about getting married and told me that he's getting married soon and he wanted to give me a wedding present which is one of his lights which is pretty bitchin I mean there's my ring and I get a light that's killer I, I'm just blown away so I told him I would unbox it on the YouTube and, and show everybody uh, the uh, the specs and whatnot about the light and I honestly don't know a whole lot about this light So we're gonna learn all this cool shit together and it's gonna be fun. So uh, I got all the meters out here I got my uh, my watt meter. I got my heat. I got the measuring tape and then the par meter of course And uh, yeah, this is uh, a pretty good sized box. It's not quite four feet long But uh, yeah, let's uh, I'm gonna move this stuff out of the way here. and Let's get into this uh, this box I'm, I'm super pumped to see what what is up with this. Right, so let's get in here. Get this all cut. Cut that side. Not the best angle to do that at. There we go. All right. Let us see what we got in here. So I got a bunch of packing material. Let's dig some of this stuff out and we'll see what we're looking at. Alright, so we got some mounting brackets, some mounting hardware of some sort here. Oh, look at that. A cozy. <laughs> that's cool I like it that's something new I haven't I haven't gotten that from a grow light company before so let's see what we've got in the box here this looks like one of their 200 watt lights I believe yeah let's uh, let's pull this thing out of the box let me get the uh, the box out of the way here and we'll get uh, we'll get the light open up All right, look at that shit. Holy fuck. This thing is professional grade. No joke. Holy shit, bro. Like this, this thing's heavy. This thing is built, bro. Like no joke. Holy shit. completely enclosed looks like we've got some ventilation holes on the end here like what the fuck wow man I have not seen a light quite like this one yet I don't even know what diodes this thing uses to be honest it doesn't say on the website but this is some nice, nice looking shit. And I'm, I'm shocked by the weight. Like this thing is heavy. This has got some serious metal to it. Let's flip it over here. And I believe this is, um, usually they sell these on their website in uh, uh, groups of three and four. Four of them is for like a, like a four by four or five by five area. But man, this thing's freaking beast. Like, this is the heaviest grow light in my stable now. We got the uh, power cord, nice, already hooked up and everything. And then we've got this, which I'm not sure. I'm guessing this is to hook up extra ones to it. Maybe a dimmer? I'm gonna have to talk to the dude and see. Like, he legit just, just like, hit me out of the blue and was like, hey, I'll send you one of these as a wedding gift. And I was just like, fucking A, I'll take it. That's badass. 
So yeah, this thing looks like a complete beast, feels like a complete beast. So let's go ahead and get this sucker hooked up and mounted up. I got the, uh, the mounting hardware here. I gotta figure out how to get that all, all hooked up. It looks like it just kind of screws in the end and then it's adjustable and then I should be able to hang it with a rope ratchet, I believe from the top there. So yeah, let's uh, get this hooked up and hung and uh, see what this sucker can do. I am pumped. All right, guys, I got it all hooked up, ready to go. This thing is a beast, man. Check it out. It looks amazing, like for real. This is <laughs> this is one hell of a light. Like I do believe that this is industrial grade. And I also figured out, I believe, what this is for. Um, it is to hook up a dimmer. Uh, but it did not come with a dimmer switch, so I'll just have to grab one, stick it in the holes, and I should be able to dim this sucker off of that, I believe. Uh, so that is uh, the dimmer. Sweet. And then uh, another cool thing that this light has, actually, if you look on the side here, it's adjustable. So you can actually unscrew this, and then this thing twists, and you can actually slide it. Let me unscrew this a little. I tightened it up pretty tight. But you can actually like angle the light. So I can move this whole thing around and angle it. See, I can lock it into position. It has like holes here so that you can lock it into position at an angle. So you can aim this light wherever you want. Pretty cool pretty pretty cool because it seems like it's a bit of a spotlight um, based on my uh, my par readings here so we'll get to that we're at uh, 16 inches I went ahead and uh, <laughs> I accidentally hit the uh, record button when I was angling around here so as I was saying uh, we're at 16 inches which is where I've run uh, pretty much the uh, the SP 250 from Mars and um, the uh, the TS series and all those I pretty much ran all those tested them at 16 inches so there we are 16 inches across the board and let's see what uh, what we're reading here what do you think what do you guys think nine twenty nine twenty bro that's really good like that is absolutely crushing 920 that is excellent bring it down to the end the very very side 559 all the way out to the edge like I said it does seem to be very very focused it seems like these uh, these kind of uh, lenses that are on here uh, are really really limiting the the spread of the light so you're you're really uh, just focusing the light down into a, a very fine pattern on the canopy and we'll bring it back to the middle here get it back up to 900 930 that's ridiculous man but see when you go all the way out to the side it drops off pretty quick because it is pretty pretty spotted, pretty focused. So we're looking like 350 over here. And if you go all the way to the far corner, then we're looking at, well, let me get above it so I'm not blocking any of the light. 190, 200. Maybe fix the corner a little bit, maybe get a little higher. 207, 208, just by fixing the corner. So yeah, about 200 in the corner. This is a 4x2 tent. So this light wouldn't really be the best for flowering um, a 4x2 fully, but it would absolutely crush down the center. Like anywhere from about there, about there over. So what is that? Probably about a foot, really. Yeah, that's about a foot on each side. 
and that's going to hit it and we'll get it on the other side here. So I would say this light for ideal pattern, and there again, I mean this is 900, you can raise this up, if you raise this up to, uh, to like 18 inches or so, maybe even 20 inches, uh, this is going to go down to around 700 and then it's going to spread out a little bit better. But I wanted to run it at the same height as I have the previous lights just to show you just how much stronger and how much focus this light is. Uh, in the center section like this is uh, there's some really high readings here. This is Higher than I would want to run so I would definitely uh, Raise this light higher than that. Let's uh, let's go ahead and pop this light up another uh, another few inches here I think I'll take it to uh, I think I'll take it to 20 inches and we'll see where we're at uh, Readings wise at, uh, at 20 inches. I think it'll be a little bit more favorable uh, for flowering uh, in a more even canopy instead of being so spotty this thing does feel like it needs to be hung really high. Like it's a, it's definitely more of a uh, uh, industrial fixture that you want to hang high with several of them. I don't think it's really made to run by itself, and they don't even sell it by itself as a single like this. I, you can't buy this on the website. He just sent me like one of the pieces of their kit. Like I said, these usually come in uh, groups of three, all connected, or groups of four, and then you can angle them and tune the the spectrum how you want. That's why they're so focused because you can have them uh, spread out. They're usually not, like I said, they're usually not used just as a single light like I'm using here. Uh, he just sent me this because he's really cool and he wanted me to check it out and it's a wedding present. So I'm fucking stoked, just saying. But yeah, let's go ahead and, uh, and raise this sucker up and we'll see where we're at. All right, so here we are at 20 inches now. Show that's all the way to the bottom. There we are, just a just above 20 inches, 20 and an eighth maybe. So pretty pretty solid as far as the uh, the height goes there. Now let's see what we're sitting at. Still 700. Damn, at 20 inches. Still 700. Fuck. This thing crushes, bro. We'll go out to the end here. 450 still. Like, I didn't lose a whole lot on the sides at all. Like, I was right. This light does need to be hung quite a bit higher. See, we're still exactly the same. Maybe even a little higher on the sides. I don't remember exactly what the side number was in the middle here. But that's kick-ass. Let me go all the way to the corner again. And we're looking... Yeah, 300. The light's swinging back and forth a little bit, so it's... See, yeah, it's moving. That's why it's it's kind of moving a little bit. But yeah, that's, that's definitely better at 20 inches. I can't even believe that it's, it's rating this at 20 inches. Like, that is killer. That is killer. This light puts out some shit, bro. Holy crap. It is definitely firing downwards. Like you don't have to worry about adding any sort of reflectors or anything on this. It is already reflecting everything as freaking accurately as can be. Like it's almost like it, it just shuts off once you get to, the, get to the edge. Like it's so fine tuned. And that's really good for being at 20 inches. Like wow, that's killing the game. So, really, really happy with the output of this light. Um, I want to get the dimmer hooked up, and I would kind of like to maybe try vegging with this and see how it works just at, at really low wattage, kind of like I do with the, uh, the SP250. But yeah, I'm going to have to figure out what I want to do with this light. This is a nice, nice piece of hardware. And thank you very much, uh, Rheumatics, for... Uh, for hooking it up with this light like killer killer definitely check out the uh, the website below I'll put the link below if you guys want to check out their lights um, you may want to get them for your own canopy I really like that you can angle each light like that's the coolest thing to me because uh, you're gonna have all these um, like the four setup has four of these all in uh, in uh, parallel basically and then you've got a bar 
that hooks up to all of them along here so they're all mounted separately but then you can angle each one of them in a different direction and you could take your par meter and just tune the canopy like just that's awesome like I there's not very many LEDs out there that let you tune the uh, the footprint like you get what you pay for and that's it and that's it but with this light you actually get to uh, do whatever you want and it's just it's just so nice man I wish you guys could feel how heavy and how sturdy this thing is like I've, I don't know what else to say it's it's pro grade ridiculousness right here and I'm happy to uh, to have had a chance to take a look at this sucker can't forget to do the uh, the heat gun test uh, so I've uh, I've got this hooked up for about an hour now and uh, let's uh, let's hit it with the uh, the gun here see what we're looking at 118, 120-ish. So you can kind of tell where the driver is. The driver's going to be right there. <laughs> I guarantee you that's where the driver's sitting. Because that's the hottest spot on the light. So the driver is probably from like right there to right there. And then it cools off after that. As you get down this way. So yeah, the driver's like right in the middle area. Get a on top here. 109. So running really cool. Like you've seen my other tests here where uh, the outside of a lot of these are running like 160, 170. This one's running significantly cooler. It's a shit ton of metal though. Like, this is a heavy light. It's a crap ton of metal. Let's look at the uh, the underside. What, what the fuck? 116? Dude, even the underside is cool. 118? That's ridiculous right there. Yeah, so this light just runs hella cool overall. Like, that's, uh... That's pretty impressive, to be quite honest. So yeah, passes the heat test, that's for sure. Great wedding present. I can't really think of a better wedding present than a grow light. Well, my wife could think of a better wedding present than a grow light, but I can't. So, eh, I'm super happy. Thanks a lot, and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. And make sure you check it out in the link below. And uh, that's pretty much it, guys, for this update. I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, make sure to hit up my Amazon and everything down below in the links. Till next time, guys, happy growing.